Cotton grower doesn't dream of clean cotton, of good turnout, of the best possible profit. But it's cotton in the field where the dream starts coming true. Reality is cotton in the bowl, and the profit is finally realized when the cotton is in the bale. Only then can the yield and turnout be determined and the sample taken and graded. Is it strict Midland? Midland Fair? Or only strict Low Midland? The quality should be as good as what was grown, and the yield and turnout should be of maximum practicality. And because such quality and quantity spells maximum profit, the wise cotton grower looks to the guardians of cotton profit to protect his investment from bowl to bale. The quality and quantity of cotton crops does need guarding because certain factors can steal the profit. Factors like green leaf stain and oil stain, twist and trash, cracked seeds and damaged fiber, lost time and lost product. When the crop is protected from these robbers, the profit is protected too. And that's the job that Alice Chalmers does with each cotton picker it has designed and built for growers who want the best. From front to back, top to bottom, these cotton pickers are profit styled, designed to pick more cotton from mature bowls and leave more green bowls undamaged for future picking. Notice the gentle gathering action of the floating dividers. These are supported by adjustable coil springs at just the right height to ease under low limbs so that all the plant is gently guided into the picking area. For picking up ground hugging bowls, these spring fingers can be bent to conform to bed shapes. And the design at the top prevents missing of top mature bowls or stripping the green ones. Row spacing on all models is adjusted easily in minutes. Also, for the most efficient pickup in tall, heavy, high-yielding cotton, high-lift dividers with automatic cable lift are standard on the two-row high-unit picker. As the plants move into the picking area, stock crowders compress the plants and hold them in contact with the spindles, which do the actual picking. The crowder is completely adjustable for green bowl protection and is spring-loaded so that it will open automatically to protect the spindles should a rock or similar object be picked up. This picking area is over 45 inches long, more than three times longer than pickers using the drum principle. As the plants travel through, the bowls are contacted by 638 spindles per row in the picking area on high unit machines and 464 on the low units, providing multiple contacts with the bowls for maximum picking efficiency. Before entering the picking area, the spindles are moistened. The moistener pads are force-fed under operator control to deliver just the right amount of water for efficient picking. An electric pump delivers filtered water to the pads from a tank, which is plastic lined to prevent rusting and increase its life. 
Prior to their entry into the picking area, the spindles are not spinning. As they approach the plants, the spindles start rotating and enter the plants gradually, preventing stock damage and minimizing droppage. The long spindles extend completely through the plants during the lengthy pass through the picking area for maximum contact with the open bowls. The spindles are bullet-nosed, chrome-plated, recessed barbed and aggressive to open cotton, but not to the plant or green bowls. They are mounted in oil impregnated bearings that never leak or need lubrication. That's guarding against green stain and oil stain. The spindles are driven by the friction principle. A spring loaded rubber track protecting them and the drive system from damage by foreign objects. As spindles gradually leave the picking area, they stop rotating as they carry the cotton to the stripping area. This is the gentlest stripping action possible. The non-rotating spindles passing through chrome stripper shoes. So the cotton slides off without twist or damage. There are no extremely close tolerances to be held. No twist, no embedded trash, just clean, fluffy cotton. Clean, fluffy cotton that stays clean and fluffy all the way to the basket because of Alice Chalmers' exclusive jet stream air delivery. A powerful fan delivers warm, clean air at mile a minute speed to carry the cotton through a fully enclosed system up to the basket. There's no chance for dirt or trash pickup and the fluffing and drying action makes for easier ginning. The fan is located high off the ground, pulling in cleaned, warm air from the engine area. And because the cotton does not pass through the fan, there's no damage to the fiber and no seed cracking by the blades. Big capacity baskets will rear up to an unloading height of over 10 feet. And on the two row pickers, automatic unloading extensions are standard equipment, projecting the cotton over into the center of the trailer without the necessity of moving the machine in excessively close. So, Unloading is fast and without spillage. Here is a greater percentage of the cotton harvested. Better cotton for the gin, twist-free, stain-free for better turnout, and profit guarded all the way from bowl to bale, which is the main objective of the sample Guardian design. What's it take to operate a profit guarding cotton picker like this? Nothing but ease and convenience. Just take a look at this comfort style operator's platform. The padded bucket seat adjusts to any operator's height and weight. Push it back for stand up driving. Push it forward for out of the weather storage. All operating controls are within easy reach, conveniently grouped by function. And the operator is right up front, where the gathering action is. Steering the front wheel, with power steering standard on the two row pickers. Turn row control, an exclusive Alice Chalmers feature, permits inching without slowing the engine RPM while turning at the end of the field. This feature smooths turn rows for safer operation and results from an oil type clutch. With operator fatigue reduced, and with more accurate control, these cotton pickers guard the manpower factor in profit too. Including two picking speeds, there is a total of eight speeds forward, and two reverse. With a neutral, that stops the power to the drive wheels. And for rapid transport when not in the field, there's on-the-go shifting, of course. Another exclusive. Braking is sure with hydraulically actuated band and disc brakes. They are self-energizing in forward or reverse, requiring only tiptoe pressure. And a park control lever sets the brakes. How do you guard against time loss? Against downtime? 
One way is with plenty of power. Husky, hard-working power to keep those profit-making two-row pickers on the job throughout the harvesting season. Power supplied by an 80-horsepower turbocharged diesel or a power crater gasoline engine with 85 horsepower or a power crater engine designed for LP gas and delivering 82 horsepower. Power from engines with features like crankshafts supported with seven main bearings, replaceable wet cylinder sleeves, two fans, one cooling the radiator and one pulling air back over the engine and husky design throughout for reliable performance. All of these engines operate with an upfront radiator located just behind the operator's seat in the clean air zone. The single row models offer the same fuel options, diesel, gasoline, or LP gas, in horsepowers more than ample for the job they must do. What about hydraulic power? That's exceptional too on these cotton pickers. On two row models, the hydraulic power is provided by an externally mounted two-section pump. The front section supplies power for steering, while the rear section provides the lifting muscle for the picker units and basket lift. All hydraulic operations are smoother and sure as the result of a specially designed vertically mounted valve. The hydraulic systems for the one row pickers are equally effective in providing powerful and sure operating functions. Only some of the many features have been mentioned. There are many others, standard and proven, as the Alice Chalmers right principle of picking. And they all add up to superior performance. The two row picker, the 802 high unit model for rank growth heavy yielding cotton. The 801, a two row low unit picker, ideal for average growth cotton. Or one row operation in smaller acreage of rank growth heavy yielding cotton, the 122 fills the bill. While the 116 picker is for those single row requirements in average cotton. Don't forget, it was an Alice Chalmers cotton picker that was a 1965 winner of the first national cotton picking contest ever held for mechanical cotton pickers. Sponsored by the Blytheville, Arkansas JCs. These are the cotton pickers that are the guardians of profit. Cotton profit that results from improving the amount picked from the bowls, bettering the turnout into bales, and pledging the best possible quality in the sample. These are Alice Chalmers sample guardians. Cotton pickers that provide the owner with more benefits for less money. Benefits that mean profit.